this photo of you. <laughs> the hardest photo of you I've ever seen. The crowbar <laughs> shirt, the angle. <laughs> this is a <laughs> wild picture of you, dude. It's fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah, that was from the gig the other night. That's that's a legendary photo. I hope you know. There you go. It's fucking <laughs> awesome. Okay. Now into the now into the meat and potatoes. Did you know that their drummer's named Kyle Fisher? I just saw that on the screen, so <laughs> I didn't know he was that busy. He made like a DAW, didn't he, or something? He's like helping like design like a isn't it like Beatstar or something? You what? How could you not know? Oh, you, you mean Fisher. Uh you, yeah. Who did is, you think I meant? Yeah, the guy in Dirty Nil. <laughs> oh my god, no, I meant the Kyle Fisher that we actually know. The the person you're in a band with. Welcome back, Bannock folks. You're tuned in to another reaction here on the Bannock Dotes page. First and foremost, if you aren't already, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and give this video a like. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you get all the notifications of when we're posting videos and when we're posting the Encore episodes and then the podcast episodes. And of course, follow us on Instagram at Bannock Dotes, B-A-N-D-E-C-D-O-T-E-S. Okay, Served up today, we've got the Dirty Neil with a brand new single of theirs, uh, Nicer Guy. Now, maybe just to contextualize a bit, Dirty Neil have been around for a long time. They've been around putting singles out, working in the Ontario scene, and then they've grown and grown and grown. They've always been fun with their lyrics. And uh, did you want to describe uh, how you came across them? Um. <laughs> I thought the Dirty Nil was like a Mac DeMarco, like, <laughs> chill wave rap dude. I genuinely don't understand how it happened, but I thought the Dirty Nil was like a Mac DeMarco-esque rapper. <laughs> and then um, I saw that this came out, and I'm like, everyone loves this guy, so I need to check. The <laughs> you know what? I like rap. What am I doing? I listened to the whole album, um, Fuck Art. It's basically all I've heard by them so far. But holy shit, that's such a good record. I can't believe that I just never listened to this band for some reason. They're like right up my alley. So I don't know how that happened. You ready to jump in? Let's go. Let's check this one out. This is sick. This is sick. This video is so funny. It matches the song so well. Wow. True fashion of Dirty Nail. They're going like the kind of groovy uh, guitar. The guitar work is always so good with this band. I don't understand how people do it. Like to this day, no. like I can't, I can't play an instrument and sing. I just straight up can't. No. So I can barely play an instrument though. Let's be fair. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, this is super cool. I, I can't believe I slept on this band for so long and I love this video. Yeah. Want to hop back in? Yeah. Let's check it out. Anything to add? I just paused to give us a second to try to 
uh <laughs> give some feedback on it i kind of just want to keep listening to the song this is just a really good song it gives me i guess like um that same sort of tongue-in-cheek vibe as bands like um pop uh what's the band i'm thinking of right now the front bottoms it gives me that sort of like just mm-hmm. uh super like tongue-in-cheek I, I like uh, <laughs> like the concept of everyone just fucking with him and him just being a nicer guy. Like, that's all he wants to be. I can't believe that this is not a Mac DeMarco-ass rap dude. <laughs> This is so funny. It's so self-aware. I just somehow realized the shirts say Live, Laugh, Love. In Comic Sans font, too. Oh, my God. This slaps. so good that's so just like it's hard not to smile while you're watching it yeah yeah it kind of gives you like jackass vibes like this like t- like you know they're just being silly uh and i like the and it's a good message i think everybody can just be a little bit nicer out there i don't think i mean everything i mean everything does suck right now i understand that and we're all dealing with a lot of tough stuff but sometimes you know, just being nicer to a stranger can go a long way. It's a pretty simple message, right? Just be a nicer guy. I think that's what's cool about this band from, you know, what little I've managed to check out now is they have a tendency to, like, name a song something and really stick to the name of the song throughout the song. Like, they're really mm-hmm. good at, like, they hammer home points. It's more like, it's almost like hard rock guitars, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, a little mm-hmm. bit of, like, southerny, like, you the riffy. Being, yeah, you can see it being on the radio. Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. Like, in a year like the early 2000s, this would have been something that would have been massive on the radio. This would, like, the type of, like, one-hit wonder song you get, like, Teenage Dirtbag by Weedus or something like that. Like, it just fits that mold so well. I'm actually seeing, I'm seeing this thing here. I'm going to give a quick click. You can still see, right? Yeah. They really give me, like, um, that sort of, uh, the same sort of personality that, like, some 41 did early into their career. You know what I mean? Mm. Where it just felt like, like, like the video for, um, Hell Song, I think, where they're using, like, the toys and stuff yeah. like that. Like, you know what I mean? Just, like, really putting it out there and being as silly as possible. Some 41 actually had some iconic videos back then. Like, the Still Waiting video and, like... Too Deep. In Too Deep's a classic. We lived through this golden era where, like, like a record label would put, like, so much money behind, like, a music video. Listen, I gotta go. I think I'm about to be mugged. Hey, guys. Yeah, hey. How you doing? Have a seat. Take it easy on those chairs. Corinthian leather. Let's check out the end of this. I really think that some of the best marketing in the world is uh, the marketing where you're, you know, just appealing to people as like someone who would just be fun to hang out with. You know what I mean? There's no, you're not trying to create this air of mystery around yourself or anything like that. It's just like, this just seems like this would be like a chill ass dude to be around, which is awesome. Pleasantly surprised to find out that they are not a Mac DeMarco ass (laughs) rap dude, Um, that they are three 
Mac DeMarco ass white dudes who play good punk music. So yeah. I, I like it. Hell yeah, yeah. They got some really cool records. Uh, some of the first stuff that they've even put out, like they're they're a really consistent band. If you like if you like that chain, if you like the their record, fuck out. Uh, check out all their stuff because because it's all uh, it's all good. Thank you guys for checking this song out with us. Did you like it? Do you like the Dirty Nil? Did you think they were a Mac DeMarco ass rap guy? Am I alone in this? Was there like a like a Bernstein effect that happened? <laughs> if so, sound off in the comments and we will join together to desperately fight to get back to our old dimension.